win the MVP award, and it's because of game games like his 42 perform point performance against the Blazers on Tuesday. Mike D'Antoni put Harden's game in perspective after that performance. Let's take a listen. He's unique. I mean, yeah, that's the best offensive player I've ever seen. It's just, he does things. They're running guys too. I mean, he just steps a little further back and makes a three. And I just, you know, the way he can pass and see the floor, get fouls, layups, floaters, maybe a lob, maybe out to the corner. I mean, just, he has so many weapons. And now he's shooting a step back three. It's impossible. You know, it's impossible. We're joined once again by Chris Broussard, but first, Skip, mm. does the Antonio have a point? Look. I do not blame Dan Tony for saying this about his superstar. I wouldn't blame him if he said that right now James Harden is a better offensive player than Michael Jordan was in his prime or Kobe Bryant was in his prime. But James Harden is not a better offensive player than either of those two because let's just do assassin mentality that Michael Jordan had. Let's do mamba mentality that Kobe had. Let's just do a hypothetical one-on-one -on -one game. Those two would terrorize James Harden in a one-on-one -on -one game. They would tear him apart, <laughs> psychologically, mental toughness, because we have seen James disappear many times in the postseason. He is not, James Harden, the offensive force that Shaq was or Kareem was or Wilt was in their primes just because he's 6'5", and, and they were giants in the game yes. who dominated. But... I will agree with one point that Dan Tony made that at least puts James Harden in this conversation. It's the new lethal weapon in basketball that Michael Jordan just didn't really care about because it wasn't emphasized. Kobe started to at the end of his career, but not like James does. And it is the step back three off the dribble, 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 because he'll dribble 20 times and then he will step back and he is making 38 percent of his threes this year and 37 percent for his career. That's that's pretty great. Yeah. So all of a sudden, that's the great equalizer here where he has great slither to him. He gets by people with sort of effortless quickness that I it's, – it's almost like quicker than the eye because he doesn't look that quick to me. But he gets by people, yeah. and he can finish with both hands at the rim. So that makes him very difficult to guard. But, again, on just psychology, the assassin's mentality, I can't put him in the same – conversation with Jordan. The thing I like about Harden is he's he's reminding us that this is a game of skill. Mm -hmm. You know, since Michael Jordan, we felt like the best player had to be the most athletic. And Magic wasn't the most athletic. No. Bird wasn't the most athletic. No. Oscar, you know, was big and strong, but he wasn't, you know, yeah, I, I didn't high see fly that. or anything no. like that. No. Harden is like that. He's just greatly skilled and he's, as you said, he's crafty and all that. He's smart. He is tremendous. I would throw LeBron, I think, offensively better LeBron's than him. Enough. I even would say Steph is. And you know what? I, I, when you're a career 44% three-point yep. shooter? <sighs> yep. Now, here's the thing people are missing, and I think Harden should be – I think he should be unanimous MVP because I don't see how you put anybody ahead of him this year. But what Dan Tony, I don't want to say is missing because, like you said, he's backing his player. This system – makes guy it takes you to another level offensively your numbers Steve Nash with all due respect I don't even think he would be a hall of famer that he's going to be if he hadn't gone to Mike D'Antoni so no let that. alone two-time MVP no. yep Chris Duhon looked very good in this system he did Ray Felton averaged 17 and 9 for Mike D'Antoni Jeremy Lin's two-month run of dominance was <laughs> under Mike D'Antoni so you put James Harden in this system, who's better than any of those guys, and that is where this extra uptick has come from. I would love to see Chris Paul by himself in this system. I think his numbers would be huge. If you put Steph or LeBron, Steph's a great passer. Steph or LeBron or even KD LeBron with the ball in his hands in this system. LeBron would average 15 assists a night in this system. Yeah. And look. No, Mac D'Antoni, he's not the best offensive player ever, and you need to stop it. I believe you can heap praise on your player without lying, because there was a five-year stretch, and then maybe you because when he was probably like fourteen, Wilt was in the league. Wilt had a five-year stretch; he averaged forty-two, twenty-five with three assists, and had a PER of thirty. <laughs> Kobe averaged thirty-five points a night. He once had a stretch of five straight games where he hit forty. In two games before he scored that 80, what, 81? Mm -hmm. He had a 51-point game. Michael Jordan averaged 37 for an entire season. He once averaged 32, 8, and 8 yep. Yep. for a season. 
So, Mike D'Antoni, stop it. If you want to say James Harden is one of the best offensive players I've ever seen, okay, I can live with that. But to just say he's the, he's the best offensive uh, – LeBron is a better all-around offensive player than James Harden. Come on, Mike. I get it. That's your guy. You want to back your guy. You don't have my, oh, man, that guy good. But you ain't going to – who you who you actually think believe that? James Harden is like – but I ain't better than Michael. But I ain't better than Michael. I, I don't know. I think Harden might be saying. If, right, hold on. Hold on. Right, Coach Demetri believes in me like question. that. If Michael Jordan and Kobe had to play their entire career with the league like it is now, no arm, no, no forearm you can hold them, no hand checking, and, you, and just free, no clotheslining. You know what else? No big man in the middle. No! On your team or the other team. So imagine Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was going to the hole with Patrick Ewing, Shaq, David Robinson, Alonzo Elijah Warren, Elijah Wong. Elijah, like, and not to mention Oakley and those guys, those power Mason, forwards back then Charles who would Smith. hammer you. So the lane nowadays is so wide open. You, look, I was talking to a former player the other day, and he was upset because the way the game is now. He said... He said, look, comparing eras is done. You can't even do it because it's such a different game. The lane is so wide open. The three-pointer is such a big – James Harden shoots 44% from the floor. That's another part of the argument. Jordan, uh, LeBron, they're very efficient, all those centers you mentioned. But with the three-point line, if you shoot 33%, that's the equivalent of shooting 50% from two. So he takes 10 threes a game. So that factors into this right. whole equation. So, where so think about this. For Kobe's 20-year career, he attempted 5,500 threes. James Harden has already attempted 4,400 in nine years. So, so he's going <laughs> to – He's, um, he's, he's going to double, double it. Yeah. 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 Okay? He might triple, and, and triple for, it. For Jordan's whole career, he, he took 1,700. Because they just didn't do <laughs> they, it. No. Yeah. I mean, what, Bird what didn't saw, even take a lot no, back then. They just, right nobody right. emphasized it. When you saw Michael doing this in the finals. Right. He was actually saying, we, we don't even shoot this shot. And I just made whatever it was in a row. James Harden is electric. Yeah. I mean, because he's not a high flyer, he go into the rim and he plays the game below the rim. He can finish, as you said, skill with either hand. He can. The other night he dunked it with his right hand, and I was like, whoa. We, we, we need to stop. I mean, Mike D'Antoni was in the league and around the league when Michael Jordan was in his prime. When Kobe, that stretch, when Kobe, when, when Shaq had left, you mean to tell me? Come on now. I, what I will say is this. Um, if, we, if we call Harden a two-guard, he's got to win, but I think he could. I, I've got Jordan, Kobe, Kobe Jerry West, D-Wade is my top four. I think he could pass D-Wade as oh. the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. As a two-guard. Yeah, but he's got to win. My, my chance. Kobe off the table. Yeah, yeah, no. He, no. Listen, when, it was, <laughs> when Dwayne was healthy and it was time, he could just take it. He was phenomenal. His, his, just his phenomenal. Body People betrayed. forget. Yeah, his yeah. People forget. His, the years. But I, I think because of Harden, if he can have longevity, and again, he's got to win some championships. He got at least one. Yeah. Until he wins that, you can't. No, you got to get at least two. Because mm. D Wade got three, Jordan got six, Kobe got five. You got to win at least two. But D Wade got him two as the second guy to mm. LeBron. Yeah, yeah. Not that, that, nothing that, 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 that ain't a bad thing now. But this bad. dude is this dude is bad. Oh, no, you, you realize the APB is still out on him for game six last year. Yeah, what is? I don't I, even I, know where he is. One of the happened. one of the things I want to see more than anything is him in the finals. Him and Chris Paul oh. in these clutch moments. And not as much Chris, but certainly Harden when the going gets tough. I also they, want to see yeah. Dan Tony when the going gets <laughs> tough. I do. I, yeah. I do this thing. This system that is so pretty to watch and creates MVPs in the regular season, sometimes it gets pushed completely out of its comfort zone yeah. when it's time in the postseason. But watch him. I mean, he's electric. I mean, the way he can pat the ball with that left hand between legs, I mean, he da 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 And then, hey, you, Kevin, you, how do you guard him? If you push up on him, he's going to go by you. You slack up off him, he's going to raise up and shoot the three. So what do you do? No, it's, it's – The other night in Portland, he had one possession where he dribbled it <laughs> 20 times and stepped back and just ripped it. It's almost like okay? – It's, almost it's like, amazing because, like you say, he's not he, – he's obviously got some quickness. But you would think he wouldn't be blowing by these guys. But he like does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He does. You Regularly. Can't. I mean, imagine if, you, imagine if James Harden was 6'9", 264. What he could actually do. <laughs> oh, I know a guy. Skip, I know a guy with those very dimensions. Mm. 6'9", 264, in his 15th season. Mm. 
The one you hooked up with Vibranium? <laughs> <laughs> you hooked him up, right? Skip, he told oh. you. Yeah. Oh, this is all he's doing is foreshadowing of things to come. Uh -huh. It's gonna be like this when you're 16, you're 17, 17. and you're 18. If it is, I'm gonna be asking some. No, no, wait, you don't ask no questions. You. you already know so the answer. No. Yeah. no, 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 <laughs> stop yeah. it. Well, I'm you in it. Well, I'm asking somebody, Tom. Then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's got Alex Guerrero. He doesn't need five. Oh, yeah, exactly. Many, how many games do they lose in the Eastern Conference playoffs? Cleveland. Who? Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. I thought we were talking about Houston. Oh, we're back to Cleveland. How I many did Cleveland lose in the Eastern Conference? Play? I don't know what they lose. They lost two to Toronto last two, year. No, they didn't. They swept them. They lost one. They lost none. They lost none. Wait, they swept. They lost one to Boston. So they're twelve. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking two years ago they yeah, lost yeah, two. Two, right? No, that's right. They were twelve and one last year. Yeah. In that range, I'd give no. them one loss. They'll no. probably lose three. I say four. They'll lose four. Three or four. Games. They'll to get who? complacent after they get a three-zero lead on somebody to or two-one. I, I did like it that Larry Drew said, "This is our turning point moment. Everybody has a moment." And LeBron just shot it down after the game. And said, "Aren't we a little late for that?" <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> hey, in case y'all didn't know, LeBron is the coach. So in, in case y'all didn't know, the moment happened December thirtieth, nineteen eighty-four. Oh, Lord. That was the moment. Coach, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Will we see a new Des Bryant this season? Hall of Famer Rod Woodson answers that question next.